if this is your idea of doing curls, well, first of all, put some more beer in it to make it a little bit more resistance. And then my favorite bartender workout is for you. Good morning. Welcome to the Lang Show. This is being filmed on location in Red Hook at a playground outside of a school. Today's show, it's day 348 on my 365 to 55 countdown. And today we're talking about the personal training palette. No longer the personal trainer's toolbox. And we're also, I'm also going to do my favorite bartender workout. Welcome to the Lang Show. I'm gonna start the show and just keep doing parts of uh, my favorite bartender workout. The first is going to be the Mary movement prep warm up. Standing wide, doing a nice squat, turning my arms in and then turning them out, rounding forward on the way down. Start doing some breathing. I'm gonna step forward, reach down into a lunge, rotate up. Step forward with the right leg, turn up to the right. Step forward with the left leg, turn up to the left. Holding a deep squat, rotating up to each side. Putting my outside leg back, reaching up, little stretch, release. Three sixty five to fifty five, so three hundred sixty five days in one year. I turned fifty four a few weeks ago. Today's three four eight out of three sixty five. It, it's intriguing to me how easy it is to put a different perspective on time and days because now I've got three hundred and forty eight days left before I turn fifty five. That's a lot of days. So what am I working on? I had a good workshop the other day and I want to enhance some of my workshops that I'm doing. Uh, I love teaching and personal trainers seem to love my workshops. So I want to do that a little bit better and put more effort into uh, more workshops and enhancing them. Um, okay, so let's start another exercise. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of the Elijah. So I'm going to take my band and I put it around the post. I'm going to do a strong row. So I'm going to grab both grips with one hand, do good resistance, 10 reps, and then hold the band and do jumps. So with this, try to get your shoulder blade moving. So get everything moving. Switching arms, hide my opposite leg forward. I'm gonna hold this band, keep that shoulder girdle stability, and do 10 jumps to each side trying to go deep. Uh, 
that'll get your heart rate going. You can turn it pretty chaotic and do the Jamie. Go right into a, another exercise. Quickly stir the pot for core. So the Elijah turns into the Jamie. Personal trainers, throughout the years, we've been talking about the proverbial toolbox, you know, put this exercise in your toolbox, and we talk to new trainers about how, you know, I can, you have to be better at deciding which is the proper exercise at the appropriate time, so you have to build this toolbox, but last week my husband and I were talking, we were talking about the palette of design and the different ways that we use the word palette. And I thought, you know what? I like that better than toolbox because personal training is the science and the art, right? And so if you think of an artist's palette, they can take different colors and, and mush them together and get something entirely different and they can experiment with patterns. We do that as personal trainers. It's not so uh, clear cut. Uh, a toolbox sort of is very clunky, if you will. So I propose that we say the personal trainer's palette. And that way we become artists as well. I'm gonna do the Gaid exercise fast changes, uh, fast chops. I'm going to do the Mary plyometric exercise, but I'm going to incorporate thoughts about the Dimitri. The Dimitri exercise was really getting your deep core muscles going by deliberately exhaling and getting all this really nice and secure on movements. And so I'm going to think about that as I do the, uh, the jump side to side. I'm going to go right to the Jerry to get that core help with low back stuff, right? So I'm just going to hold, focusing more on my right arm. Really feel it in your midsection on that right side. Just going to hold. Now I'm going to bring in my other hand, do some presses. First hold. Press. A few weeks ago I talked about how I wanted to be better at coming up off the floor without using my hands from a seated cross leg position. And you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> I think that's important to realize, right? Keep checking with myself. What do I care about? What do I want to change? You know, as far as with myself personally and fitness goals and, and health and life goals, I don't really feel that that's such a priority for me right now. And I think I gotta work on my, my fat a little bit, get rid of some of that body fat and stay strong. Uh, do the droogle uh, with a little bit of resistance, single leg balance and reaches.
one more uh, Jamie slams, jumps, squat, shoulder press. Red Hook, that's the Lang Show. Thanks a lot.